Upon a lofty throne I saw a man seated, whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison, Behold him, the name of whose empire is eternal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Holy Spirit says, Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at the rebellion in the day of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested and tried me and saw my works for 40 years. Because of this, I was provoked with that generation, and I said, They have always been of earring heart, and they do not know my ways. As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil and unfaithful heart, so as to forsake the living God. Encourage yourselves daily while it is still today, so that none of you may grow hardened by the deceit of sin. We, become, we have become partners of Christ if only we hold the beginning of the reality firm until the end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you, you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Forty years I was wearied of that generation. I said, this people's heart goes astray. They do not know my ways. Therefore, I swore in my anger, they shall never in enter my rest. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom 
and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to him and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed, that will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad, so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, leprosy in the Old Testament was considered more as uncleanness than a disease. It was considered to be a punishment sent by God for someone who have committed a particular sin. For example, the man in today's gospel. And since it was sent by God as a punishment, only God can cure it. Only God can heal it. So that was their belief before. A leper is a victim in every sense. Physically, he is a living dead. Nobody wants to come nearer to the leper. Socially, he is an outcast, forever isolated. Each time a leper would enter a city or a town, a bell ringer would usually warn the people that a leper is coming in, so you have to move away. And psychologically, he is inadequate and embarrassed among other people, but yearning for friendship, acceptance, and belongingness. Brothers and sisters, if we notice in our gospel, the leper had broken the law in order to come to Jesus. He knew that no one else could help him. His leprosy was pronounced incurable. He had nothing more to lose in life, even if he would be punished for breaking the law that forbade lepers to enter a town. He did not care. What more could he lose in his life? And that is the very reason why he had to look for Jesus by all means, even if it was inside a town and he was not allowed to enter the town. He came and knelt down at Jesus and begged him for healing. He acknowledges the power of Jesus and gave him honor and reverence by kneeling at his feet, being conscious of his misery and unworthiness and maybe sinfulness for that matter. He does not demand healing from Jesus, but he only pleads and begs Jesus, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Nagapakilukoy siya, hindi gid siya nagdemand. Nangayo lang siya, ngatani kung Gusto mo, Lord, mag-ayo, ginapo. Brothers and sisters, Jesus proved himself God when he healed the leper and even authorized his disciples to heal people from their leprosy. In today's gospel, 
Jesus touched the untouchable. Jesus touched and healed the leper. The healing of this leper teaches us to have a compassionate heart to the considered leper or outcasts of the society. Sinners, the poor, the marginalized, the oppressed, the weak, and others. The action of Jesus did not only heal the leper, it was also an act of assuring the leper, the man, that he was very much part of the society and the community. And what made Jesus reach out? What urged Jesus defies religious and social norms? What made Jesus act in order to restore the leper into his dignity as a person? St. Mark in today's Gospel tells us that at the sight of the leper, the moment na nakita ni Jesus ang, 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 ang man with leprosy, Jesus was moved with pity. That was the reason. The older version of the scripture would use the word compassion. Jesus was moved with compassion. And so he healed the leper. Brothers and sisters, compassion is not just pity. Compassion is more than just sympathy. Ay kaluoy siya, no? Jesus did not feel sorry for the man who was infected with leprosy. The root word of compassion is from the words kum and patior. Kum, patior. That means to suffer with, to undergo with, to, sh to share solidarity with. When we say that Jesus felt compassion for the man, it means that Jesus suffered with the leper. It was as if the leper's condition became his own. Brothers and sisters, it is easy to move with pity. It is easy to give sympathy. Today, Jesus reminds us that the Christian way is neither pity nor sympathy. The Christian way that Jesus is teaching us and telling us is compassion. It is identifying ourselves with someone else's difficulty, burden, and condition. In compassion, we find ourselves praying together. In compassion, we find ourselves working together to relieve each other of our difficulties. We pray in our Eucharist today that we too, like Jesus, will also become compassionate and with a merciful heart, especially with those who are undergoing trials, sickness, and difficulties in life. Amen. Jesus did not distance himself from the leper, but stretched out his hand to heal him. Let us pray that we may come close to those who suffer and in need of help. In every petition we shall say, Lord, touch us and heal us. Lord, touch us and heal us. Lord, may your healing hand be upon us in times of epidemics natural calamities, and physical and spiritual illnesses, we pray. Lord, Lord touch, touch us, us and heal us. May you deliver us from the scourge of attitudes that, like leprosy, exclude, isolate, and dis discriminate against the people, we pray. Lord, Lord touch, touch us and heal, and heal us. us. May agencies tasked to study and find cure for deadly diseases be given the wisdom and knowledge to be successful in their important mission. We pray. Lord, Lord touch, touch us and, and heal us. us. 
as we are fruits of God's love, may we share this love with others, giving of ourselves to others, and building relationships that are life-giving. We pray. Lord, touch us and heal us. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, comfort of the afflicted, protect us. May we console others as we are consoled. We pray. Lord, Lord touch us, us and heal us. In a special way, let us include in our prayers, Father Francis Sabelosa, CICM, as he goes back to his mission in Taiwan for a fruitful safe and meaningful journey we pray to the lord lord touch us and heal us merciful father we come to you in our need look with love on us all especially on those who are suffering physical sickness and loneliness we ask this through christ our lord amen, amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to you, in him you have been pleased to renew all things giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross, brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him, has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you, you have set, set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patricio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we be married to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
With you, O Lord, is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament. I love you and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, O oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me that I may die for you who died for love of me. Amen. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Sebastian. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has been offered. Go and glorify the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.